Hi friends, Mrs. Short here, reading you a new story. For me, it's a new story. I've never read it and never heard of it, but I just thought it was very cute. I am wearing a little shawl today. It is very cold and snowy where Mrs. Short lives. So, this story is about a boy and his dog, and it's called, I Am the Dog. Raise your hand if you have a dog. My goodness, I can't even count that high. Notice I didn't raise my hand. We don't have a dog. This story is written by Daniel Pinkwater. And it's illustrated by Jack E. Davis. The dedication is at the end of the story. So at the end, I'll read that to you. And who am I dedicating this to? Everybody. But maybe especially those of you who have a dog. And you always wondered, what is it like to be a dog? What's a dog's life? And I wonder if dogs ever wonder about people's lives. Well, very cute. I hope you enjoy it. So here we go. I am the dog. I am Jacob. My dog is Max. One night, we decided to change places. What do you say, Max? Tomorrow you can be me, and I will be you. Max liked the idea. Max slept in my bed, and I slept on the rug. Have you ever done that? Slept in your dog's bed or on the rug? When we woke up in the morning, Max was the boy and I was the dog. I stretched. I yawned. Ugh. I scratched behind my ears. All the things I've seen Max do. I could tell already I was going to like being the dog. Max was in the bathroom brushing his teeth. He ate a lot of toothpaste. <laughs> he went downstairs. The family was having breakfast. Have some cereal, dear, my mother said. I'm the dog today, I said. Could you put my bowl on the floor? Certainly, dear. Would you like your orange juice in a bowl, too? Max sat at the table and ate with the family. He liked that. <laughs> look at the dad's face. That's hysterical. And look at, he really is eating his food there and the dog. Oh, my goodness. Isn't this cute? Love this. May I run around the yard now, I asked my mother. Yes, my mother said, but stay away from the bushes. My mother drove Max to school. The kids were all happy to see Max. They all wanted to pet him and feed him things. I could see that Max liked being in school. Look at all those happy kids. After Max took me to the park, oh, I'm sorry, after school, Max took me to the park. The park is a great place when you're a dog. 
There are so many things to sniff. There are so many trees. I chased a squirrel. I met another dog. A lady gave me a cookie. Max threw a ball. I ran after it. He threw it again. For some reason, I never get tired of doing that. He threw it again. I ran after it again. When Max got tired of throwing the ball, he scratched my ears. I liked that too. At home, I got in trouble because I ate Max's homework. The dog ate my homework, Max said. My teacher will never believe this. My mother made me stay in the garage for an hour. Max got to play video games. My father came home. I was happy to see him. I jumped up. I kissed his face. Look, Jacob. You get kibble for supper. I love kibble. I love kibble. I love kibble. I could eat kibble every day for the rest of my life. I don't even know what kibble is, but I love kibble. Max had spaghetti and meatballs, and he liked it. After supper, I felt running. I felt like running around the yard again. Looks like they're having fun seeing each other. In the evening, the family was together in the living room. My father sat in his armchair. He watched TV. My mother read a book. Max had to do his homework over again. I snoozed. I was happy. He's doing the homework. He's snoozing, taking a little nap. That night I slept in my bed and Max slept on the rug. When we woke up in the morning, Max was the dog again and I was the boy. That's how things are supposed to be. But both of us had learned something. Being a dog is better. <laughs> so, Daniel Pinkwater the author dedicated it to Lulu and Maxine and the illustrator Jack E. Davis dedicated it to, there's a lot of names here, for Dugan, Sarge, Cindy, Honey, <coughs> excuse me, Mrs. Nichols, Riley, Spike, Larry, Finnegan, Nipper, Lucy, Amy, Luke, and Pudge. Loving friends and terrific dogs all. That is such a great story. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. And if you have a dog, what if you like to be in it to switch places? I'm not saying to do it, but just think about it. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I will see you next time.